Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd just like to say a few words um, just to welcome everyone here today. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for coming. A big thank you to everyone um, for coming and you know taking time out of your day today. Um, a special thank you to everyone who's travelled from overseas to be with us here today. Um, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce the Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands, Mr. John Crabtree OBE, the High Sheriff of the West Midlands, Mr. Michael Quo, and finally, our MD and founder, Dr. Bolly Joe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I've come a long way. I've come about 10 miles up the M5, so I've done really well to go here. Um, so as you heard, I have the privilege of being a Manchester of the Queen's Lord Lieutenant here in the West Midlands. And I tend to make speeches when I say, I say that, I choose myself, I'm John. And then I say actually things like, I'm really privileged to be here, I'm really delighted to be here. And I always mean that, but I'm um, absolutely thrilled to be here today. And there's a very good reason for that, that I've been to see Bolly and I've been to see Orsi before. So almost two years today, September 17, I think it was the first one I've done, I've been appointed that year. I presented the Queen's Award for Enterprise and came to Orsi and, and met all of you. And that day made such an impression on me that I've been using it and quoting it ever since. I'm just going to ask my handsome assistant here to help me. This photograph here uh, is on the home page of the West Midlands Attendancy website. There you are. Um, because it made such an impression. So I think there are only two or three of those photographs. There's all see in your old premises two years ago. And the reason it made such an impression on me, and I, I've used the story, um, because these awards, Queen's Award for Enterprise, people tend to think they go to big businesses, to Rolls Royces, to Marks and Spencers, but actually where they're really valuable is the innovative people who get the benefit of of uh, having that award and be able to use it in their business. Um, in Bolly's case, so he started the business 12 years ago, I'm going to say. He's going to tip me off and get this wrong, this is my memory, but I do remember it. With a couple of thousand pounds of the mate up there in Aberdeen. And then when it was going off, he thought, well, I need to be more central, where shall I go? So he got a map of Britain. He'd never been to Birmingham before. He'd never heard of Aston Villa. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and, he, and he stuck a pin in Birmingham and said, oh, I'll go down there. So he came down to Birmingham for the first time and set up the business here. And then on that day, I met all the people that worked for him. So I met the sort of, I would say, about half of Chinese heritage, because they're obviously dealing with your manufacturers or suppliers. And they were so buzzed to be working for him here. And then I met the local people who come to work from here. I remember one gentleman in particular, who's probably Bolly's chairman now, who, um, who turned up on a Saturday morning without a job and said, look, I'm out of work. Any chance you'd give me a job? And Bolly liked the look of him and thought he had lots of good energy about him. And took him on. And that person made a real impression on me. And then I met mum and dad, who's afraid my English they won't understand what I'm saying, but the story of your parents and the cultural revolution and what, what your story and coming over here for, for the very first time then made such an impression on me. So to tell you what Bolly has achieved here, these awards, the Queen's Award for Enterprise, um, when I did that in 2017, uh, our population here in the West Midlands is about 4.2% of the population of the United Kingdom. So you would think we would win at least that number. And actually, if you think about where we are in the West Midlands, all our industry and everything, you'd think we win a lot more compared with all the rural counties and bits of Scotland and so on. Well, there are over 200 of these awards every year. And uh, in that year, um, we were averaging only five a year in the whole of the West Midlands, only five. And that year, uh, there were four in Birmingham. Three of them were for export, and one of them was Bolly, and all she was for innovation. And we know the economy of the West Midlands here, don't we? We know what happened to our manufacturing, we know what happened to our industry. We know what Mrs. Thatcher and the handbag did. Don't quote me on that, I'm not meant to be political. But you know, we, we need innovation. This is exactly what we need to regenerate the economy here. Last year, um, Birmingham won not. This year, just one for export. So what you achieved was quite extraordinary. Yeah, you really did stand out. So as I say, it was an absolute privilege to be here. And, you know, I, this day wasn't well looking good for me, but I managed to squeeze it in because I wouldn't have missed this or anything. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a terrific business, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, thanks, John. Uh, and also our High Sheriff and the dear customers, players, partners, and the family members, and the lovely children. Uh, first of all, please allow me on behalf of OC Technologies, welcome you. Really, I think this one we should have applause. Welcome you to OC. This one, this one, yeah, exactly. So today we are in here to celebrate this new building opening. I 
think this is really something worth to celebrate. Why I'm saying that? Many of you probably had a bad experience with builders, plumbers, you just don't want to get deal with building work. I'm sure many of you have such an experience. <laughs> Myself, so did I. I just don't want to say, oh my god, this, uh, before we said we're going to build this building, I think, oh, please don't let me do this job. This can be end of a disaster. That's initially in my mind. But do you know what, guess what? This is the exact same yesterday weather. Yesterday the weather was storming, raining, I said, what's going to do it tomorrow? And then today we have a beautiful day. Same as our building story. And then I met our lovely partners, which in here I really do want to mention them, which is from a Ghost Property. They are Sphere, Sphere team, and our Architect team, which is from a Pinnegar Hayward Design, and our main contractor from A&H Construction Public, and also our Fleecer team as well from EGL Laws. So all of us together put a very, very strong team and build this building. And this building didn't have any day delay and didn't cost anything extra. So we perfect done that. I'm so proud of that for our construction team. Thank you guys for that. Yes, thank you. So now we have these buildings. This building, which is uh, of this uh, whole floor space, is 20,000 square foot. What does that mean? That means we can put 1,600 palace together. That means you have 80 big lorries to fill this space. So, pretty good. This gives us space to expand into the next stage. So this expanding is not only in the UK market, but also in overseas, especially in Europe. Uh, many of you already know that we just invested another building at Belgium. The building will be fully functional at October to serve our European customers. In addition to that, we also set up another team at India, so we expand to the Indian market as well. So, so many more will be coming. To accompany this team growth, we also developing many more products. We concentrate a lot on our R&D department, make sure new products come out. This year, so far, we have three wonderful products. Uh, one is the battery-powered uh, A-board display, the hanging screens, uh, the LED screens. There's many more will come in. I'm sure all these new products, new offices, new teams, we have a great future. Okay. Before we go to that, the last things I just want to say, all these achievements, who have done that? It's you guys, really. You as our customers, you as our supplier, you as our family members. It's piece in here, I want to give a special thanks to our family members, teams. You're working so hard, but without your family members understanding you, support you behind that, we never can achieve these things. So I want to take this opportunity to ask you to thank your partner next to you. Thank you, guys. Really. Finally, finally, I just want to mention that again. Also, we truly understand our future is depends on your success. So it's our job to help you to achieve your goal to make your success. Our full team in here to support you. If anything we can do for you, just ask us. We'll do 100%. If we cannot help, at least we can help our store sales, say to our team, if you cannot help your partners, your customers, at least we can offer our love to them. That's all. Thank you. So I'd now like to ask uh, and invite the Lord Lieutenant and the High Sheriff to officially open the building by unveiling our opening plaque. And finally, I'd just like to say thank you again to the Lord Lieutenant and the High Sheriff for taking time out of their busy schedules today, and, and thanks to everyone. Um, and also, we'll soon be serving food in the far corner of the marquee, which is what everyone's really bothered about. Um, so, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thank you.